Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how we can fetch the index of a loop block in the velocity integration procedure. So let's start. So here I have drag and dropped a loop block uh, from here uh, to the structure. And uh, in the loop block, we have the loop list. This is the list with which we will iterate. And uh, then we have the additional loop output and some executional conditional criteria. So firstly, what we are going to do is to access the index in a loop block, we are going to set a blank node to absolute value of zero. That means the number zero. Then we are going to return that JSON path and name it index, rename the uh, JSON node to index. Uh, then we are going to assign uh, this additional in the additional loop output. We are uh, we have created a output variable and I'm going to assign the index to it. So in the first iteration, it will assign zero. Then it will go to the set values index. In the set values, it it is going to take the old value and add plus one to it. Then I'm just returning that O value, uh, the new value add uh, which is like adding plus one, and then re uh, the response JSON node is index. So it is going to override the index value from zero to one and uh, subsequently to all the iterations. So let me click on preview and let me click on execute. So, and you can see in the debug response, if I go click on loop block, I can see these values and in the output, I can see the iteration index. Uh, like this is the first index, this is the second, this is the third index. We also have this loop block iteration index but this isn't accessible to us during the loop iteration. This is only accessible after the loop iteration. So thanks everyone for watching.